guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna be doing a huge collective haul of just a bunch of stuff that I've been buying over the past few weeks. A lot of this stuff you guys may or may not have seen in the past couple of vlogs that I've done, but I know that some people prefer like collective haul videos. Do you hear Blue? He's destroying his tank. What are you doing, baby? I'm trying to talk. He is very active today. So I know that a lot of you probably prefer to have like these big collective hauls where I just show you guys everything that I've been buying for the animals and different things over the past few weeks. Instead of watching the individual vlogs or maybe you've missed a few of the past vlogs and you didn't get to see a lot of the stuff that I've been buying. So I thought that I would just kind of combine everything I've purchased over the past few weeks in one big haul video and that is what this is going to be today. If you guys enjoy my hauls or this video, feel free to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. We actually have quite a bit of stuff to get through so we're about to get started but I also wanted to tell you that I think I'm going to show you guys a couple of the fairy theme items that I bought from Moo's Tank. I did do a vlog recently where I took you guys to Hobby Lobby and I bought a bunch of stuff for Moo's cage theme for next month which is going to be a fairy cage theme. You guys know I don't really do hamster cage themes that often. I do a lot of cleans obviously once a month but I usually just give her her tried and true hides and things because she is getting older and I don't really like to stress her out with like a whole new enclosure with all new hides and everything. That's why her cage is like very eclectic and she's got some Christmas stuff, some Halloween stuff. It's just really random, but she loves it. So that's typically what I do. But there is one cage theme I've wanted to do for a really long time. If you guys watched that vlog, then you saw I was talking about it. I really want to do a fairy cage theme. So next month's cage theme should be a fairy theme. But I may show you guys a few things that I bought for that cage theme today as well. So like I mentioned, everything that I'm going to be showing you guys today is stuff that I bought over the past few weeks. Some of it is from pet stores. Some of it is from an expo. And some of it is from like Hobby Lobby and other things I've just picked up. If I can remember where I got everything, I will tell you. But okay, we have a lot to get through, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a new tank that I just got. I absolutely love it. If you guys saw my expo vlog, then maybe you already saw it. A lot of this stuff you may have seen in that video as well, but I really love this tank. I was excited to find it, so I'm going to show you guys that. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this new tank that I just got. This is actually a five gallon low terrestrial tank. I absolutely love this thing. Like look how low it is. It is the size of a five gallon, but it's shorter. So I'm in love with this. I have been wanting this tank for several months, but they are extremely hard to find. But if you have like a terrestrial tarantula or snails or maybe a, like a baby Pac-Man frog, these types of tanks that are low like this are perfect and I was so excited to finally get my hands on one. They typically only sell them at expos. That's what Maddie and Emma told me. So I was looking for one. As soon as I got to that expo, I was like, where's my tank? And I got really lucky. There was a booth full of them. They also had a 10 gallon version. So it was like a little bit longer and I loved it. I wanted all of them. But I really, really wanted one of these tanks. Obviously, I don't have anything to put in here yet. But I do have my eye on a particular tarantula. So who knows? Maybe I'll get one in the near future if I can find one. And so I wanted to have one of these tanks just for whenever I was ready. This is what the top looks like. It's really, really nice. It does have a screen mesh top in the top as well, which you can't really see. Also, this version can actually hold water. But they do make a cheaper version that does not hold water. I just happened to get the more expensive one that held water because I didn't look at the label. But that's fine. I love it regardless. And yeah. Yeah, that's the new tank. Okay, so a few more things I did get at the expo. I did get this cork round. Now, I actually didn't have to pay for this. The gentleman that ran the booth was nice enough to just give this to me, and I gave him a shout out in my vlog, but this is a really nice cork round, and I really love it. This is the first one I've ever gotten, and I did get it for Bodhi because I think that he would love to hide in this. So yeah, I just got that little cork round. I did get Bodhi some more feeder cups. I did see a comment after I already bought these um, that someone was saying that you can actually buy these that are reusable so you don't have to like toss the cups. So I'm definitely gonna be looking for some reusable ones after I run out of these. But yeah, I did buy some refill cups. I also got Bodhi one bag of the Pangea with insects. This bag was I believe $8 at the expo. And then I also got him the green papaya one. He's never had this one before and I know he really likes the red one with insects. So I got this one too, just so he could have a little bit of variety. And that was everything from the expo. All right, the next place that I went was PetSmart and I did get another spray bottle. I feel like I can never have too many spray bottles with all my reptile tanks and stuff because I'm constantly misting them down. And one of my spray bottles actually broke, so I was down to only one left. So now I have two again, so I got one of those. I also got Moo a couple of these really cute little chews. I think I'm gonna be putting these in her fairy thing for next month, but I think these are super cute. I did get these at PetSmart. They had a bunch of cute little like candy and lollipop type chews. Moo doesn't chew anything other than her alligator and her cheese chew, so she probably won't touch these, but 
I mean, they'll be cute for the theme, so whatever. Okay, so the next place I went was Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I got from Moose Fairy Cage theme, just kind of like a little sneak peek of next month's video, but I'm not gonna show you everything that I got. So the first thing that I got from Moose Little Cage theme is actually this little wicker fence. I think this is so cute. It's just a little bendy white picket fence, which will look cute. I'm gonna outline her little fairy area with this, so I think that'll be pretty cute. Another thing that I bought from Moose Cage theme is this. I think this is absolutely adorable, and I wasn't gonna show it to you guys, but I was like, it's a haul video. I'll let you have a sneak peek. It's basically this really cute little fairy garden sign, which I'm gonna put in her tank next month for the theme. I think this is absolutely adorable. And obviously it really goes with the theme of her tank for next month so I'm pretty excited about that and then the last thing that I'm going to show you guys for Moose Cage theme is this really really pretty bedding this is the Tutti Fruity bedding PetSmart just came out with I think it's limited edition so I don't know how long it's going to be out but it just came out and it's absolutely adorable and the colors are going to be perfect for her fairy theme you guys know I'm a Katie Clean and Cozy lover but the colors in this are beautiful so I am going to be sprinkling this in with her bedding but I did love this so I got a bag of it for the theme and that's the last thing I'm going to show you guys for the cage theme the rest of it you got to be surprised the next thing I recently bought is actually this dinosaur skull I have no clue where I'm going to use this I have no idea what tank I'm going to put it in honestly I really just don't even care I'm not concerned I saw it on clearance for four dollars and I was like hi give me that I love dinosaurs so yeah it's super cute I mean as cute as a skull can be I guess but I love it I love dinosaurs and I thought this was too cute for the price of $4 to turn down, so I got it. No clue what I'm going to do with it. It's been sitting on my kitchen table for a week since I bought it, so. But yeah, I bought that. I also bought this because it's like for $4, and it really has nothing to do with any of my pets, but I got that anyway. The next thing I got was completely frivolous, but it was on sale for like $7, and I couldn't turn it down because it was like over 70% off or something. It's a honey pot. It's so cute. It's porcelain, and it was like 70% off, so I think I paid like $7 for it or something. At Hobby Lobby, they were having this ridiculous sale, so I did get this really cute honey pot. Again, it has nothing to do really with my pets, but I did buy it, and I thought it was adorable, and I'm going to put it in my kitchen. But yeah, it's all porcelain. It's super cute, and it reminded me of Winnie the Pooh, so Moomoo's away. You guys want to see Moomoo? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Say so hello to everybody. They miss you. Hi, baby. You want another worm? I love you. Say so hello. Say so we woke up because we heard mommy in here making all this noise. That's right. Moo is doing really good. Say I'm doing so good. She is getting older, but she's still doing really good. She's out running every night. Say so we had some couch time last night. You want to show them a clip of that? on the couch last night giving her worms and playing with her and she's doing really really well say bye bye say bye bye say i love you say bye bye oh i love you so much oh i love you what a nice little treat what a nice little treat for her to wake up oh good girl precious Okay guys, that is it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. I'm gonna go feed Blue because he is running around. He hears me, he wants his food. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye.